Hi cuties! Welcome to my very second transformation video. So today I'll be transforming from regular old Luffy into the magical thief Saint Tail. So look forward to it. I um, am really excited because I love this character. I think she's just so sweet and good. She's a really underrated magical girl character even though the series is super super cute and really really lovable and just adorable all over. So if you haven't seen Saint Tail, I definitely recommend checking it out. And I also think you should check out my first transformation video, which will be linked up in a card right here. But okay, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start off by priming our face, of course, with Milani Prime Perfection. Just go ahead and put that into the skin to make a great base for all the makeup I'll be putting on. Next off, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild foundation in the shade Buff Bisque. I really like this foundation. It's the Photo Focus line and it's supposed to prevent flashback in photos, so it's really, really handy for cosplay. Next off, we're going to be using the NYX HD Concealer in yellow just to cancel out some of the purpley tones under my eyes. I have the worst dark circles ever. So we're going to blend that out and then quickly set that with a little bit of powder just so that it doesn't crease too I do notice that this concealer tends to crease, so keep that in mind if you're using it. Next off we're going to go in with this e.l.f. Total Face Palette. I'm going to be using the taupe shade on the bottom kind of as a trim. Next we're into the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I'm going to be just using Just Peachy on my outer corners and putting that on with a blending brush just to kind of put the initial peachy color down. And then I'm going in with Candied Peach. I love this shade because it has literal glitter in it, which is perfect for magical girls. So I'm putting that on my inner, sorry, on my outer V as well as underneath my eyes there. Next I'm going to be going in with Georgia just on a flat eyeshadow brush and covering my whole lid. Next we're going to go in with white peach and put that just in the inner corner of our lids just to kind of create that full gradient. Now we're going to line our water lines with the Auto Eye Liner from Ruby Kisses in white just to kind of create a little bit more volume. And now it's time for my favorite eyeliner, the Lum Love Darling Eyeliner. I use this all the time so as you guys know it's my favorite because it's branded after Lum, my favorite. So unfortunately I lost a bunch of footage after this, but what I did was just use this bronzer from Revlon, number 24, the Blush Happy from Physicians Formula, and the Highlight Pink Heart from the Moonchild palette. For my eyebrows I used the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso and I blended it in with this pink shade from this Nikka K New York palette. And on to lashes, I'm using lashes in the style VB from Darkness. Next I'm going to go in with this mascara. It's the Miss Manga Mascara from L'Oreal just to blend my lashes together and also coat my lower lashes. And it's glitter time. I'm just using the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner and Crystal Hip. And I'm just finishing everything off with this CoverGirl Outlast All Day Matte Finishing Powder. For lips, I'm just going to start out with Lip Balm from Yube and then move straight into this Wet n Wild lipstick. It's in the shade Will You Be With Me. Then I'm gonna put on some highlight from the Moonchild Glow Kit onto my lips and finish off with NYX Lip Gloss in Affectionate. Makeup's all done, so now it's time to actually start the transformation. <laughs>
much everybody for joining me. I hope you enjoyed seeing me transform into Saint Tail. I think she is just really so super cute and good. I absolutely love the, um, like, of course, because I've mentioned this so much when I talk about Magical Emmy, but I love Magical Girl Magicians. I think it's just such a cute and perfect thing to do. And I absolutely love Mamie, or Saint Tail, because she is just like the sweetest little thing. She's like, good, <laughs> you know? I, I just love, I just love it. I love Mamie. I love her parents, which parents aren't usually in a lot of series, and it's really fun when you get to see parents and they're like cute and healthy and have a good dynamic with their family and everything. I love her little pet Ruby, which I don't have a hedgehog to feature, but Ruby. <laughs> This is a really cute little hedgehog. That's her um, her little friend and I just really love this series. It's so cute and sweet. Actually, I'm gonna marathon it again right now because I love Saint Tail. I'm really happy that I finally have this costume made and I can wear her whenever I want to because she's just really a solid good one. Um, I think I've mentioned it before but <laughs> Back in like 2013, 2014 or so, I made this really bad costume, which I'll actually show you guys a picture of over here. Um, so that was my first attempt at making it. And just a couple years later, this is how it came out. And I think it looks much better. So, <laughs> I'm really happy for that. And I hope you guys are happy for it too. So as for the way that I made this costume, it's pretty much just um, a circle skirt, and then I drafted the pattern for the little tail coat myself and made that from scratch. And then the undershirt, I actually just thrifted a white dress shirt and um, took off the sleeves and made it fit the, the vest that I made. And then I just have on some petticoats and black tights. For shoes, I just wear some black heels. It's pretty. It's a pretty simple costume. Um, the top hat, this is the same hat that I used for Magical Emmy, and you can of course always check out my Magical Emmy transformation video, it'll be linked up here. And um, this staff is just a wooden dowel, air dry clay, and paint, little gems that I used for the um, gem parts. And I wish this wasn't broken right now, ah, I need to fix her. But yeah, that's all that that's all that really this is. So it's a pretty simple costume to make. And um, I'm glad that I finally found the time to do it. Oh, the wig is from Arda. It's a Jenny wig, I think. Oh, yeah. It's a Jenny wig from Arda, and pumpkin is the shade that I used. And um, I'm really having a hard time getting it to stay looking nice, but that's every wig, I guess, especially these special ones but it's perfect for her, so I'm just really glad that she's here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you again super, super soon. I still have lots of dance videos to upload from Momocon, so those will be up periodically as well. And I will, of course, you know, I'm always taking requests, whatever you guys wanna see, well, you can leave it in the comments below. Let me know which cosplay you want me to transform into next. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Oh, I keep forgetting to put on these gloves because it's a pain, first of all, but you know, cosplay. Cosplay's pain. Cosplay's pain. <laughs>